Hi everyone, my name is Hannah Harris and today I'm going to be teaching you one of the basic stylistic elements in traditional Irish music called a roll. So typically in your sheet music, a roll will be notated something like this. So either this one here or here. And if you're writing out a roll, it will actually look like this figure here. So you can see here that these are five note rolls. Um, and you want to embellish above and below the pitch that is notated. So in this example here, I would be embellishing an E, or a first finger, on the D string. <laughs> Typically you want to use um, the third finger in this uh, as opposed to your second finger. Um, just because it really does fit the framework of the tune better. Uh, you can use your second finger, but a lot of fiddlers just prefer to use their third. You can also roll on your second or your third fingers with the notes directly above and below. You'll notice here that I didn't skip a note um, above on the second and third finger rolls. Fiddlers do this mainly just because it fits our left hands better. Now I'm going to play you a reel that will show you the difference that rolls make to the tune. I'm going to play through it one time without any ornamentation and then I'll add it in for the second time. This is a common Irish reel called the morning dew. So while the tune is simple enough, the challenge is adding in the ornamentation, especially when you're new to the style. The best way to learn this, then, is, like with many other technical skills, to go slowly and then work your way up to speed. So you might want to start off with a pace like this to begin with. Once you're comfortable with this, you could take it up to a couple more notches. And so on and so forth until you finally get it up to speed. are really good ornaments to use for dotted quarter note rhythms or notes that span a beat and a half. Um, so even if there isn't a roll actually notated in your music, you can add them in if you see these notes and it, that it fits the rhythm. So one of the great things about Irish music is that it varies from player to player, so be creative with your fiddle tunes and add your own personal style to it. The page is a helpful starting point, but to really understand this music, don't be afraid to leave the page. Listen, experiment, and see what you can come up with. Thanks for listening, everyone, and a special thank you to Violin Tutor Pro for letting me share this teaching tip with you all.